Good morning, Rachelians. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, if this is super in and out of focus or blurry or whatever, I am so sorry. I got a new camera and I'm trying to figure out how it works and all of that. So if that is something that is happening, so sorry. I'll figure it out, I promise. But this week we are doing a video that has been requested a lot. It's been requested ever since I started doing these kinds of videos and that is the cost of a corn snake. Now it makes a lot of sense that this would be a highly requested video because corn snakes are amazing beginners reptiles. They are super easy and they are actually pretty low cost to get started and get set up and a vast majority of the cost is just setting them up initially. So I thought that today we would go over the cost of a corn snake. So as always this video is going to be minus the actual cost of the snake because as you guys know corn snakes can range from as cheap as about $30, $40 all the way up into the hundreds and even the thousands. My corn snake was $95. I want to say he is an albino motley corn snake. That is his morph. So he was a little more pricey. Just know that price can vary greatly depending on what morph you're going to get. Now a lot of times I would have my corn snake weighed out with me while I did this video, but as you guys know, he's not in a lot of videos because he is crazy. He does not stop moving. He just goes and goes and goes, which is wonderful for just having him out to handle him. But when it comes to recording, I have to constantly chase him down and I try to hurry up and get this recorded. Anyways, that is beside the point. Let's get started. We are going to start with the cost of the tank. So for the tank, there are a multitude of different options, but we're going to go with the easiest and the most popular options. And that is going to be a glass tank or a Sterilite bin. I'm not the biggest fan of Sterilite bins for corn snakes because corn snakes do require a lower humidity and Sterilite bins tend to be wonderful for animals that need a high humidity because it does such a good job at trapping that humidity in. But too much humidity for a corn snake could cause respiratory infections and scale rot. So I would suggest modifying that Sterilite bin if you were going to do that by adding extra ventilation just so we can prevent some of that moisture from being trapped. And beside that, Sterilite bins are not clear. They have that foggy look to them. So it's gonna be harder to see your corn snake and corn snakes are very active snakes. They like to get up and they like to move, which makes them wonderful to watch. So not the biggest fan, but if you want to do that, that is perfectly okay. It's perfectly up to you. A Sterilite bin without any modifications is gonna run you about $15, which is gonna be the cheapest option. For a glass tank, the minimum size requirement for a corn snake is actually a 20 gallon long. I feel like that is a bit too cramped of a space for them because like I said they are very active animals. If you wanted to go absolute bare minimum for a 20 gallon long I always advise doing the Petco's dollar per gallon sale because you spend a dollar per gallon for a 20 gallon long you spend 20 bucks which is awesome. A lid for that 20 gallon long is about 18 and locks super super important. Locks are very important. Corn snakes are escape artists and if you do not lock that tank they will get out. You can always put heavy objects around that screen frame to hold it down but but locks are super cheap. For a 20 gallon long, those locks are only gonna be about $5. Just because we mentioned it and we wanna get kind of a price range here, we're also gonna look at a 40 gallon breeder, which I think is a really good size for corn snakes. If you can go bigger, definitely go bigger, but I think that that should be the minimum requirements for a corn snake because it allows plenty of room for them to explore, for them to burrow, for them to climb. So 40 gallon breeder, dollar per gallon sale, no longer does those 40 gallon breeders a dollar per gallon. They are 50% off during that, so that puts them at about $45 at least where I live. And the top for that, the cheapest one I could find was about $23. And those locks are gonna be about $8. A heat pad. Just like a majority of reptiles, corn snakes are going to need a heat pad in order to properly digest their food and in order to thermoregulate. Corn snakes don't need a high temperature at all though. They're comfortable at about 85 degrees. So your heat pad has to have a thermostat. So heat pad and thermostat for heating that tank. The heat pads that I use are about $21 on Amazon. Amazon does have a lot cheaper ones, but I've never personally tested them. The thermostat that I use and the cheapest one that I have been able to find so far is $18 and it works fantastically. So for heating, we're looking at a total of about $39. Just to reiterate one more time though, because it is that important, you have to have that thermostat with that heat pad, especially for a corn snake that doesn't require that much of a temperature jump. So that puts us at a price range of about here. <laughs> so 
So next up, we're gonna look at what goes inside of that tank. Substrate. The substrate for these guys needs to be a loose substrate. Corn snakes love to burrow. My corn snake spends a majority of his time burrowed under his hot hide. They really like to get in there and just hide under the ground, which is super cool to watch. So definitely provide them with a loose substrate so that they are able to do that. The most popular and easiest to find and cheapest loose substrate for these guys is going to be Aspen. And the cheapest one I could find on Amazon was a 20 liter bag for only $6. <laughs> so super, super cheap, super easy to deal with. My corn snake has never had any kind of issue shedding on that with a 40 gallon breeder wide open screen top. But if your corn snake is having a hard time shedding, you can also do things like cypress mulch, repti bark. Some people will even do cocoa fiber. Now that is not my personal favorite because since it does have to stay pretty dry for a corn snake, it gets super, super dusty. But I know a lot of people do cocoa fiber or they'll mix it with other substrates to give a little bit more moisture if their animal needs it. Hides. So you need at least two hides for a corn snake. These can be pretty much anything. You can go to the dollar store and get Tupperware bins. You can get the fancy hides. Make sure though that whatever hide you get isn't too heavy. And if it is super heavy, make sure that it is touching the floor of the tank. Because like I said, corn snakes will burrow. And if they start burrowing underneath that hide and it's too heavy, it could collapse on them. But two hides is usually more than enough because any other place that your snake wants to hide, as long as you have a loose substrate, for the most part, they're just going to go under the ground and hide. So two hides, we're going to say anywhere from about two to $40, just because that is the two hide price that I have used for all of my animals in these cost videos. And I think it's a pretty good range. Enrichment. Enrichment is super important. And I'm always stressing the importance of enrichment in any reptile's habitat. Enrichment is something for your snake to do. So whether it is leaves for them to ruffle around with, whether it is just a branch, this can be super easy because them digging is going to be part of their enrichment. Them climbing on those hides is going to be part of their enrichment. With something in there for them to climb on and a fake vine, that's going to be pretty good for them. Those fake vines run you about a dollar at the Dollar Tree. They have them there. And as far as branches for them to climb on, we use a giant driftwood stump that we found at my local river. We just sanitized it and he is good to go. So for this, we're going to say about one to ten dollars a water bowl so this is something else that you don't want a super heavy water bowl because if they're digging under it it could collapse and crush them so you don't need a, a big water bowl for them you can literally just do a little bitty water bowl and put a little bit of water in it and they're good to go as long as they have enough to drink which they're going to definitely utilize after they've had a meal or you can do a large water bowl just make sure it is touching the floor of that tank and you can use anything for this you can use those commercially available water bowls. You can use any kind of food safe container. You can use dog bowls, cat bowls, whatever. So for a water bowl for them, we're going to say anywhere from about a dollar up to about $10, $15. Although it's not 100% necessary, especially once you get the hang of your animal and once you know what your inside environment is like, it is super helpful, especially in the beginning, to get a thermometer slash hygrometer for that tank. So what that's going to do is it's going to measure the ambient ambient temperature of the tank. So not the hot spot, just the actual air temperature of the tank. And it's going to measure the humidity in that tank. But it's definitely important for you if you are getting this animal for the first time. So those are about $10. And you just stick it in there on one of the walls in the tank and you're good to go to monitor the conditions in that tank. Now we are done with the inside of the tank. Let's just talk about other snake needs. So first off, I always, always recommend a temperature gun. A temperature gun is just what it sounds like. It is a little gun that you point and there is a laser right here. And it actually measures the temperature of whatever you point that laser at. And it gives you a reading. This is super helpful, especially if your thermostat goes out and it is no longer measuring temperature correctly. This allows you to point and check the heat pad temperature instantly and not have to worry about whether or not your thermostat is still working. I definitely think that it is a very necessary tool to have, especially if you have other reptiles. It's so easy to just take it and click each tank and be done. The one I use came again from Amazon. Everything comes from Amazon and it is $16. RepTiSafe, a way to treat that water. So just like with all reptiles, reptiles shouldn't really be drinking water directly out of your sink because there's a lot of chlorine in it and that's not good for them. 
I say all the time, my water that comes out of my sink smells like chlorine. When I turn my faucet on, I can smell chlorine. And I wouldn't want to give that to my animals because I don't even drink that. So for your animal, you can either buy purified water at the store. The Dollar Tree, again, sells that. Or you can buy a bottle of RepTiSafe. RepTiSafe is $6 a bottle and it lasts for such a long time. You put a couple drops into your tap water and it takes the chlorine out. And it actually adds calcium as well, which is super good. For water for these guys, you're looking at about a dollar for a jug up to about $6 for that little RepTiSafe container which again is going to last you for quite some time. Feeding tongs are next. Feeding tongs are pretty important. I know some people will just hand feed them but I prefer to use those tongs. They're only about six dollars and it can save you from accidental bites especially if an animal is hungry they might strike and miss and if your finger's there that's what they're gonna get. So feeding tongs are only about six dollars and they prevent that. rodents. This is going to depend on your snake. Some corn snakes will only eat mice. Some really like rats. Mine will only eat mice. It went through a very short phase where he would eat rats and only rats, but that was very short-lived. He is back to mice now. Mice are cheaper than rats, so that is a giant plus with corn snakes. They range from about a dollar to about five dollars, and you're going to feed them about once a week. They are generally very good eaters, so you do need to monitor their weight to make sure that they are not getting overweight if they are starting to gain extra weight you need to slow down their feeding but about once a week you're going to buy those rodents so monthly that puts you at about four to twenty dollars a month to feed these guys optional things so completely optional you don't have to have any of these things that I'm going to talk about so we're not going to talk about prices but since this is also a shopping list in addition to a cost list we're going to add these so number one is lighting corn snakes do not need any kind of special lighting you can provide just a small light on top to give them a day night cycle or just the ambient lighting in the room works for that especially if there's a window please don't put your corn snakes tank beside a window it can quickly overheat heat their tanks but if that tank is in a room with a window you can just open that window up in the daytime and let the ambient light come into the room so this is super optional but that is something that you can get if you need it another optional thing is a timer switch if you're gonna have that light you can also get a timer that will turn on and off at specific times during the day again completely optional another completely optional thing for them would be a snake hook generally therefore if your snake is not wanting to come out or maybe they're being a little feisty you just kind of use the snake hook to get them out of the tank. I've never had to use one for mine, but some people like using those to get the snakes out. So if that's something that you like, you can go for that. Another thing is a background. So my snake has a background in his tank and that just cuts out some of that glare. It allows for him to feel more secure in his environment. You don't have to do this, but you can and you can use things like black poster board from a dollar store. That is what I use in a lot of my tanks to black out the sides and it can just be there to give you something nice to look at in your snake's tank and that's it so all of those things not counting the optional things comes out to about this much And that's how much you are looking at for the cost of your corn snake monthly cost super easy it's just those rats which is here And that's it. That is the cost of a corn snake. Again, as always, I live in the Southern United States. So that is the cost from where I am sitting. When I look everything up, that's how much it comes back for me. I have been told in numerous other cost of videos that in other countries, these costs are drastically different. Like sometimes double, triple, quadruple the amount that I'm saying. So if that's the case for you, sorry, I don't know any other country prices. And again, like I always say, a lot of these prices are from Amazon because I buy everything from Amazon. And as you know, those Amazon prices can change drastically very quickly. So these are the prices as of right now. But yeah, just keep all that in mind. But hopefully this can help you if you are getting ready to get your corn snake. As always, I will leave links 
links down below to everything that I talk about. All the links down there are affiliate links, so that means you are spending the exact same amount of money that you always would, but I get a very small percentage of that, and it just kind of helps support the channel. So if you want to use those links, they're there, but I do always link everything so that it makes it easier for you guys to find. As always, if you are not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Puffin Headbanger for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. Thank you so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Cocoa fiber or cocoa core. Um, you can do a cocoa fiber. Some. You can. Some. Okay. <laughs> Back. Out the longevity and not have to worry about the. Oh, and give them light time. But if it is in a. But if that tank. But it's of a corn snake.